hello hello this is buwan again and today i'm planning to show you guys um how to move a data from one cube to the other cube uh, basically the source cube to target cube and whenever there are more number of dimensions in a target cube how to handle that situation and i picked up a sample model that comes now with tm1 and i picked up price and cost as our source cube and sales plan as our, as our target cube. Uh, price and cost cube have five dimensions, whereas sales plan cube has six dimensions. And um, we are gonna be moving unit cost information from price and cost cube to sales plans cube. Okay, let's get started. Okay, here I've already created a process that is, uh, um, you know, moving data from source cube to target cube, but um, I'm going to start from scratch and create an entirely new process. So let's go ahead and do create new process. And we are going to be creating a view on um, price and cost cube. And let's go ahead and create a view. And I am going to select all as of right now. And I'm going to call it V test view. Yes, V test view. Okay, this is primarily more of a template to get started. Okay, so I have to pick up some view to get started. So, you know, that's the reason I'm creating a view and uh, which is again more or less a template kind of thing. Okay, let's go to variable tab. Okay, so, um, okay, let's see. Okay, so um, this is our new process that we just created. Let's call it as vtest process. Okay, and, uh, you know, we can go ahead and change this to other and when you change this to other that's when you can define your custom script in your four different tabs okay and we can actually call it v channel just defining the variables so that when we use it in our cell get cell put information it's going to be lot easier v versions um, let's save it okay let's go and look into our earlier process to see that we are matching Price and cost, version, sensitive versions. Okay, now let's go to the advanced tab on the prolog tab. Primarily, I'm going to be copying the codes from earlier process that I created. So, in this process, what I'm doing is I'm Defining some variables for the view subset and a cube. So I'll just copy that as it is here. And right here I'm defining the variables for the dimensions of the cube. Right? So V cube is a price and cost cube. V view is 
unit cost transfer just to be easy I'm just putting the name unit cost transfer same for the subset and for channel product month version and price and cost measure I'm just defining a variable okay so this section of the code right here is actually checking to see if the view already exists since this is a dynamic view we're going to make sure that the, the view with the same name does not exist and if it does destroy that view and the second piece of statement here is going to create a recreate a view okay and now what i'm doing here is primarily running this statement in a loop to create a lowest level element subset so sys create level zero subset is a process that i'm calling and running that in a loop for all the dimensions that are in this cube to create the lowest level of element subset in all those dimensions right uh, as i promised before i'm going to be coming up with another lesson how to create the sys create level zero subset process but as of right now it's already there in under the process i'm simply calling that okay so um once the subsets are created um these are two statements we need to be um inserting the first one is going to check and see if the calculated values are to be included if it's set to one it's going to include if it's set to zero no if it's set to zero it's going to include if it's set to one it is going to disclude from the view same is true with the rules calculated value and this is saying skip zero set values so if there are any value zero values exclude that so i said that to one so running the source process should now create a view in our price and cost cube let's see variable p version is undefined let's see what it is Oh, oh let's go ahead and do define a variable here i think that's what we are parsing p version that's gonna be string and i think the default value i keep here is, should be was it version 2 i just want to copy that paste it here okay let's save it because on the first statement itself what i'm passing is p version that's why it was complaining earlier so let's go ahead and run this process okay process completed successfully so this should have already created a subset in our dimensions and our cube let's go ahead and see price and cost cube view i do not see that no unit cost transfer so that's the view yep so view is created with subset unit cost transfer so these are the subset for each and every dimension so for the products again unit cost transfer is the name of the subset right for the date unit cost transfer subset is created so this piece of code is working here perfectly right so now let's go ahead and create our target view which is going to be a zero out view uh, i'm simply going to copy the code from this process here okay so this statement is creating a view in our target cube right again exactly the same thing i did on a source view defining variables for cube view and subset these are the variables i've defined for the dimension checking to see if the view exists destroying if it exists and creating a new one and this 
all I'm doing is checking to see if um, checking to create a level zero subset right and at the end of the code I'm zeroing out that view just to make sure that um, instead of accumulating a value it's just loading the freshest data that we are coming up with okay so let me go to the data source and repoint our view as uh, price and cost unit cost transfer okay so this is our real view now okay so let's go to the data view and data view all i'm doing is doing the cell get information from the source queue which is our price and cost queue and then that information I am writing another set of statement to move the data which is a cell put information just below that and as I was mentioning earlier let's see what's happening with b version that be yes let's see okay so subsidiary dimension doesn't exist in our source so how do we accommodate that with more number of dimensions right so what i did is i only loaded it to the southern go southern europe element of that cube in a situations where you have to run it for all the element you can create a loop here and a cell put information and then run the same exact value in all the elements of the cube or you can you can define if you have any other criteria then you can define your conditions here and say okay if this if this condition meet load it to go southern europe if some other condition meet then load it to um, northern Europe or whatever that is so you can have your own definitions and calculations which derives where it is going but as of right now let's keep it simple and straight I'm just loading it to the one element of the target cube which is go southern Europe okay let's run this process process completed successfully right let's go to our cube here which is sales plan cube and i have created a view called bs test view the data is already there for go southern europe right but i want to check one more thing here which is let me close this old process so that we can work on our current process i have to check and see if your zero out view is working correctly right so i'm going to come in the cell put part of it run the process one more time so process completed successfully let's do the recalc there should be no value so what it is doing is in your prolog tab it's zeroing out your queue view right and since i'm commenting this out here cell put information it's not able to put that information so if i uncomment that and run this process one more time successful let's do the recalc data is there okay so this is actually the way that how you move data from source cube to target cube hope uh this helped you guys to some extent if you have any questions regarding this you can always reach me out uh the easiest way to reach me out is going to be my email address i'll go ahead and give you my email address uh, bhparazuli at gmail.com i uh, wish i could make it a little bigger let's see How about 20 okay yeah it looks a lot better now okay so that's my email address bhparajuli at gmail.com you can always send me any questions or comments that you guys have so this concludes the lesson on moving data from source to target in tm1 thank you